Scrapbook paper is a cool way to transform clay pots into cool giftables. Grab your paper cutter because we're going to be cutting some paper strips. It's really easy to transform a plain clay pot into a decorator pot with the Aline's Glossy Decoupage. The first thing that you want to do is decide how you want to cut your pieces of scrapbook paper. I decided it was much easier to cut strips. I did first try to draw a pattern for the pot, but because it has this lip at the top, it's very difficult to get the exact size for what I wanted to fit in here. So I solved that by just cutting strips. I did use my paper cutter in order to cut these strips, and what really prompted me to go with the strips is, I don't know about you, but I have lots of scrap of paper left over from other projects, and that's why it's so perfect to cut these little strips. I did cut them a little bit longer than what I need because I can come back in and cut off along the bottom edge. The next step is to start applying your Aline's decoupage. And I put a generous coat. The scrap of paper that I'm using is more of a cardstock weight and so you want to be generous with your application. You can also apply some to the back. I found on the clay pot that I actually, it's fine, it sticks very well by just putting it right onto the pot. So I'm putting that coat of the decoupage medium underneath and on top of each of the pieces of my cut paper. And remember, because of the shape of this pot, you have to bring them in just a little bit at the bottom and overlap in order to keep your stripes straight. And just keep adding your paper until the entire bottom portion is covered. Be sure and smooth out when you put that top coat of the Aline's Decoupage Medium on. Smooth it out and I actually come back in about five minutes or so and I use my fingers to also smooth out in case the paper starts to get any sort of bubbles. Sometimes that happens as the glue starts to set and then you would just rub it with your fingers. So press those down top to bottom. Make sure that you have a really nice hold at the bottom too. I have all of my pieces glued on and I am pressing them down. Cut off the excess and press along the edges to make sure that that is glued down. Along the top you want to use your wet wipe to remove any of your excess decoupage. We are going to paint along the top so we want to remove the excess. You will want to set this aside to let it dry completely. With my decoupage medium dry, now I want to paint along the top rim. I'm using acrylic paint and you just brush it right along the edge. And I like to have a distressed look on my pieces so I can get away with just one coat of the acrylic paint. But if you want a nice solid coverage, you might want to apply two coats and you want to let this dry completely. Now that the rim paint is dry, you can use fine sandpaper to give it a distressed finish. Drop in your favorite soap flowers or fresh flowers or plant and you have a beautiful addition to your indoor garden. I'm Tiffany Windsor and I think it's cool to craft.